Hello everyone, welcome back to the discussion of chapter number 2 geography. In the previous video, we have learned about the natural resources like water, soil and land. In this video, we are going to discuss about the how we can conserve the soil from getting degraded or getting soil eroded. The first way of conserving soil can be mulching. Uh, in this process, the bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter, for example, straw, or we can say the dry grass. It helps to retain soil moisture. How come? As, uh, as in the heat, right? In heat, when the ground is bare and the moisture in the soil gets evaporated because of the high temperature, to prevent that, that piece of land or, uh, can be covered with the dry grass or something so that it can retain its moisture for a long time in spite of having been being there in the high temperature. The second is counter barrier. Stone, grass, soil are used to build barriers along the counters. Trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect water. Right, so that we can preserve the water and also uh, it will help soil in it retaining its nutrient which sometimes you know went with the flow of the water it get eroded away rock dam rocks are piled up to slow down the flow of water and also help to prevent the gullies and further soil loss intercropping different crops are grown in alternate row and are sown at different times to protect the soil from the rain wash also it helps soil to regain its nutrient which get eroded away or get uh, faded away because of the continuous usage of land for growing the same crop counter plowing plowing is parallel to counter of a hill slope to form a natural barrier for, for water to flow down the slope shelter beds in the coastal and dry regions rows of trees are planted to check the wind movement to protect soil cover it is uh, it is grown the trees are grown in a, such a way that uh, they also you know help the that wind also do not grow, uh, erode the soil away they are grown in a systematic order so that it can control the wind movement also and as well as hold the soil so that it did not get it do not get eroded Terrace farming, as you can see in the picture as well, broad flat steps or terraces are made on the steep slopes so that flat surfaces are available to grow crop, thus reducing surface runoff and soil erosion. Now, these all were the factors or, the, or we can say the measures which can be taken by us to prevent the soil erosion. And these methods are... Uh, Adapted by the people living in different kind of uh, uh, places, like in mountainous region, we can say terrace farming is being used. Right, the any windy area where the wind movement is uh, really on a high pressure, we can say the shelter belt can be used over there. Right, so it totally depends on the region and its topography that what kind of method will be adapted by the people to prevent soil erosion. Now, coming to the water, another natural resource which is important for the human life ecosystem, right? So we all know that uh, the earth surface is covered with water, like for the three-fourth part of the earth is covered with it, right? It is a vital renewable natural resource, right? Ocean covers about two-thirds of the earth's surface and supports rich variety of plants and animal life. However, it is saline. Saline matlab that it is salty. It's not uh, something which we can use. It cannot be used for uh, by us for drinking purpose and others. Right. So it is not useful for the human consumption. Fresh water accounts for only 2.7 and 70% of that 2.7 is also uh, covered in ice sheets and glacier, uh, glaciers in Antarctica, Greenland and mountain regions. They are inaccessible because of their location. Thus, only 1% of fresh water is useful for human consumption. So, by this ratio only, we must know that how water is precious for human life and how scanty of it is there. So, we should use this resource very judiciously. 
water can neither be added nor subtracted from the earth and its total volume remains constant its abundance seem to vary only because of the constant motion cycling through the oceans the air the land and back again through the process of evaporation precipitation and runoffs this as you already know is referred to as water cycle because of which it is popularly said that water neither can be added or subtracted from the atmosphere problems of water availability most parts of the water uh, of the world are facing shortages in water supply countries located in climatic zones most susceptible to droughts face great problems of water scarcity thus water shortage may be a consequence of a variation in seasonal or annual precipitation or the scarcity can be caused because of the over exploitation and contamination of the water sources so here are the some methods through which water can be conserved to get access to clean and adequate water sources steps have been taken to preserve this resources forest and other vegetation cover slow the surface runoff and replenish underground water water harvesting is another method to save the surface runoff the canals used for irrigating field should be properly lined to minimize the losses losses or i can say losses by the water seepage sprinklers effectively irrigate the area by checking the water losses through the seepage and evaporation in dry regions with high rates of evaporation drip or trickle irrigation is very useful the valuable water resource can therefore be conserved by adopting these means of irrigation now coming on to the last part of the chapter that is natural vegetation and wildlife natural vegetation and wildlife exist only in the narrow zone of content between the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere that we all together call the biosphere in the biosphere living beings are interrelated and interdependent on each others for their survival right the life supporting the system which is known as ecosystem basically if you wanted to uh, define ecosystem you can also say where one being one living being is dependent or interrelated to other for its uh, survival is known as the place is known as is ecosystem wildlife includes animal birds insects as well as the aquatic life forms the birds feed on insect and act as decomposer as well vultures due to its ability to feed on dead livestock is a scavenger and considered as a vital cleanser of the environment this portion of the vulture uh, the bird vulture which is acting as a scavenger it is there in the book as a do you know in the side of the margin right it is important please do read it again in the book also so animals big or small all are integral to maintaining the balance in the ecosystem like each and every living being in this ecosystem has one or the other function to do that is helping in balancing the ecosystem in which one or the other living being is interrelated and interdependent how the conservation of natural vegetation and wildlife can be done as you know that changes in climate and human interference can cause the loss of natural habitat for the plants and animal deforestation soil erosion constructional activities forest fires as you know that recently aapne padha hi hoga that in australia there was forest fire the huge one right then tsunami landslides are some of the human and natural factors that accelerate the process of extinction of these resources one of the major concern is the poaching that is illegal hunting right for the uh, ivory goods or i can say like 
for the white teeth of the elephant that is used in ivory people are hunting animals uh, like elephants and rhinoceros because of their horn uh, and then they sell it into the market that is what poaching is it result in sharp decline of the number of particular species as i have already mentioned rhinoceros and uh, this elephant national parks wildlife sanctuaries biosphere reserves are made to protect our natural vegetation and wildlife conservation of creeks lakes and wetlands is necessary to save the precious resource from depletion awareness programs like social forestry and van mahotsav are also established at the regional and community level school children are also encouraged to bird watch and visit nat nature camp so that they can appreciate the habitat of varied species many countries have passed law against the tra the trade as well as the killing the birds and animal in india killing lions tigers deer and great indian bustards and peacock is illegal meanwhile international conventions like cites has been established that list several species of animals and birds in which trade is prohibited that's what they are talking about the illegal hunting of animals because of the their uh, horn or any other for their skin for any other purposes in fact you must have seen that there are certain carpets which are made by the animal skin then there are fur which is used which is uh, something uh, some people do not you know appreciate these fur material of clothing as they say that it is some 